how do I use linear systems in FTC? A linear system is any system that moves in one direction. Linear systems are often constructed of two or more components that usually slide past each other. Linear systems often have an actuator or mechanism on the end, which allows them to interact with various game or field objects away from the robot itself. So why are linear systems great for FTC? Well, one of the reasons is space. In a linear system, things are a lot more compact, which fit nicer in an F2C-sized volume. Linear systems are often easier to control as well because you only have to deal with motion in one direction versus an arm or another rotary device where you have to deal with both an X dimension and a Y dimension. There are many types of linear systems used in FTC. The ones we'll be talking about are bearing-based systems, linear slides, and spring extend systems. All these systems are generally powered by a motor and typically use something like a string or a cable to extend or retract. Probably the simplest linear motion system is a spring extend system. So on a system like this, the spring is constantly trying to pull the component out and the cable is used to winch it back in. These are useful in systems like climbers where you need to be able to get a lightweight device such as a hook up to a height and be able to pull that down with a lot of force. This is a similar concept to what's used in our climber in a box system. So a system like this can be mounted vertically, horizontally, or at an angle, and the output will move in the same direction. One thing for teams to note with a spring extend system similar to this is it can often become very difficult to add multiple stages, and often will just have the single stage worth of travel. Another thing teams should note with spring-based systems is they need to be careful around things like a constant force spring or other springs that store energy or could be potentially sharp. A spring extend system is a great lightweight mechanism that allows you to achieve simple linear motion and be able to achieve things such as pulling a robot off the ground. This is a two-stage robots lift kit. It uses ball bearings and has a similar construction to what we would see on FRC robots. Similarly to other linear systems, the system is controlled by cables and two pulleys. These pulleys both spool the cable to pull it up as well as pull it back down. So the cable routing on this particular system is a continuous base rigging, which means that one cable goes all the way through the system to pull it up, and one cable goes all the way through the system to pull it back down. On this particular system, the spring in the back tensions the down cable. One thing we've done with this system is we've tied the string through the spring so that it can't overextend and deform the spring. So normally on a system like this, the non-moving portion would get fixed to your robot, and the two moving portions, otherwise known as stages, would be able to go up and down based on the cable. One thing to note about a linear system like this is the carriage, or the last moving stage, moves all the way from the bottom of the system to the top of the system. So oftentimes this creates uh, the ability to get something like an end effector all the way from the ground to the top portion of travel. This often means you can use the same manipulator for intaking as well as scoring. So a system like this is a quite a bit more heavy duty than some of our other linear based systems. It uses ball bearings on three sides of every tube to make sure you are well supported and there's little to no play in between stages. When you spool the cable, the carriage will move up and down, but the intermediary stages are not locked into place. So generally we found that when the carriage reaches the end of travel on the inner stage, then the inner stage also moves up. But depending on the amount of friction and resistance in the system, that can flip-flop. Overall, this is a very durable and rugged solution that teams may find are useful for some of their heavier lifting tasks. The next type of linear system we'll be talking about are linear slides. Linear slide-based systems are very popular in FTC, mostly because they're incredibly compact and are easy to extend out multiple stages. This particular one is our updated compact linear slide, which features linear slide bearings for incredibly smooth motion that's ultra low profile. Similarly to our other linear systems, this utilizes a continuous rigging for having one cable extend it and one cable retract it. Teams will often use linear slides like this for either a horizontal extension to reach out to something, a vertical extension to reach up to something, or something similar for center stage, a diagonal extension reaching up and placing on the scoring board. For heavier load tasks, teams may want to mount two linear slide systems facing each other to help support each other and have a higher load capacity. 
This demo robot for center stage had to be able to climb at the end. And so by using two slides facing each other, it's a much stronger and higher load capacity system to get the robot off the ground. So this is our second iteration of our compact linear slide, which features a number of improvements over our previous system. We've simplified quite a bit of the space concerns by putting all of the cabling on a single mast. One thing to note about this new system is we've eliminated the need for a tension spring. Because all of the cable follows the path of the slides, it means it can be a consistent length all the way around and there's no untensioning. This can greatly improve the ability to know exactly where your output is because you don't have to worry about whether the spring is extended or retracted. The ability to mount on either the back or the side of the entire piece allows teams to be incredibly flexible with how they mount their mechanism. Another improvement we've made on this system is we're no longer using our machine pulley holders and instead have moved to a molded one. These new pulley holders are much lighter than our previous iteration and they have a very strong connection to the aluminum slider. Another thing we're noting about this new compact linear slide system is it's more expandable than our previous offering. We've tested up to five stage systems and they've worked flawlessly. In comparison to our bearing based system, on a linear slide based system like this, wherever you mount your end effector is where it's going to end up. For example, on this, if you mount your end effector to the bottom of the slide, when it reaches the top, it's still going to be at the bottom of this output slide. Overall, a linear slide based system like this is the most compact way to reach the highest of heights versus some of the other linear systems that we've made. So we've shown you three different ways of creating linear motion in the FTC environment. And each of these methods has different pros and cons. Teams will be wise to analyze the different features of each and choose the solution that best fits their needs. And that's how you use linear motion in FTC.